Reviewing Burberry Touch for Women, Touch was launched in 1998. The perfumer for this fragrance is Michael Gerard. This fragrance is an old release, but this is the time they have modernized their fragrances, blending contemporary aesthetics with its classic heritage. This is from the Touch collection. This line has a few more fragrances like the counterpart Touch for Men, Baby Touch a unisex, and Tender Touch for Women. This fragrance embodies the essence of contemporary femininity with a touch of British elegance. The presentation, so the box has a Czech style theme all over the box, typical Bur Burberry style. Burberry touch on the front for women. Eau de Parfum, this is an EDP concentration, you guys can see it here. On the top, Burberry, on the bottom, made in Germany, you guys can see it here there you go i have the bridge here which is made in france the bottle mirrors the fragrance clean and understated character it is a simple sleek design reflects the brand's minimalist approach this has a heavy wooden cap i think so it is wood maybe it's not but i think it is wood the juice color is a very light baby pink color on the bottom made in germany again i hope you guys can see it and this has a batch code on the bottom which is 0315 this batch is from 2020 about three years and nine months old this is available in a 5 ml 50 ml and 100 ml bottle the sprayer i'll show you guys the sprayer so the spray is okay not bad not bad this fills the room with a very feminine sm smell just with a few spreads. So the notes for this fragrance, the notes for Burberry Touch on Fragrantica are a lot but on the official website of Burberry there are less notes. In the top this has California orange, blackcurrant, dewberry and a subtle rose oil. In the heart this has lily, jasmine, tuberose, peach, raspberry. In the base this has cedarwood, oak moss, vanilla, the red pepper, blackcurrant, cranberry. Peony, Lily of the Valley, Green Almonds and Tonka Bean are not mentioned on Burberry's official website. So I will explain the smell to you and tell you the notes that I can get from this. The opening for this fragrance so it doesn't have that alcoholic blast. This has a tangy fruity note of blackcurrant with another tangy sweet fruity note of dewberry which is close relative of the blackberry with a characteristic of green scent from the bird leaf. The rose oil is here, it is the most prominent note from the opening, it is in the center, all the other notes are mostly in the background, the rose oil is not overpowering or cloying like most of the Middle Eastern fragrances, this is a very subtle, innocent, feminine and this gets balanced by all the other notes. A bit of warm spiciness from the red pepper, not very prominent, it just gives a bit of warm spicy touch to the opening and I do get the sweet citrus note of orange. To me this smells like feminine beauty products like cosmetics, lipstick, face powders, makeup kits, things like that. It has a very distinctive feminine character. It is soft, cozy, charming, feminine, fresh, fruity, sweet fragrance. The opening is good, I like the opening. As this goes to the heart notes, this has a sweet white floral bouquet in the heart. The lily gives it a spicy floral, sweet waxy smell. A fresh floral note of peony flowers. The peach is pretty noticeable in the heart. It is a fruity, sweet, nectarious note. Also a bit powdery. An intense white floral, sweet and endolic tuberose with green nuances with another similar note of jasmine. This has a little soapy vibe which is coming from lily of the valley making this even better the raspberry lends a delicate fruity accent balancing the floral intensity this phase is characterized by its femininity and elegance the base of burberry touch it offers a warm and comforting foundation cedarwood and oak moss grounds the fragrance providing a woody and earthy character Vanilla adds a touch of sweetness and creaminess while the almonds here are not like straight up almond smell, at least not for me, it is more like a subtle powdery effect. Now the tonka bean here does have a bit of that creamy sweet vanilla almondy type of scent to it. The final phase creates a sensual and sophisticated dry down extending the fragrance's longevity. 
Now the main accords for this fragrance, it is fruity, woody, white floral, floral, fresh, sweet, woody, warm and spicy. You guys can see the words here, what people have voted and you guys can also see my words, what I have voted for the pros and the cons. Now one warning about this fragrance, many people say this gives them headache. I did not notice anything like that, no headaches, nothing like that, but it should be tested before buying a full bottle, that is a recommendation. Overall impression on Burberry Touch for Women, it is a timeless fragrance that embodies classic femininity, its long lasting formula coupled with sophisticated blend of fruity floral and woody notes creates a scent that is both elegant and enduring. The fragrance ability to evoke the image of a woman dressing table with its powdery and cosmetic undertones contributes to its overall luxurious appeal. This is a scent that transcends trends carrying an air of timeless sophistication often associated with the term old money. With its impressive performance and undeniable charm, Burberry Touch for Women is a fragrance that commands attention. The rating, so this has a rating of 3.64 out of 5 with some 2000 plus words on Fragrantica. The longevity, it is a long lasting fragrance with good performance. This will give you 3-4 to four hours on the skin and up to 10 hours of longevity on the clothes which is a very good performance. I would rate it an 8 out of 10 for the longevity. The type, so this is mostly floral rose in the top and white florals in the heart. It is fruity, floral, sweet, fresh, powdery and woody. The style. So few people say it is also a masculine but in my opinion this does not have any mascul anything masculine it is a totally feminine perfume I would never recommend it for men and it is more like 29% classic and 19% modern. The seasons now this will work in all seasons best for the spring and summer but also this is long lasting enough to work in the winter times. The occasions now this will work in all occasions daily office wear, informal or formal business occasions but mostly good for formal occasions. The sillage, so I tested it in my opinion it is strong, it radiates up to 5 feet and the projection is also good. The price tag, now I got this for like 45 to 50 dollars which is not really cheap compared to middle eastern fragrances but this can be still found even like for 35 to 40 dollars which is a good price so i rated it a good value just because this is a long lasting fragrance while burberry touch for women is generally well received it's essential to consider individual preferences some wearers have reported experiencing headaches after applying this fragrance personally i did not encounter this issue finding the scent pleasant and inoffensive however fragrance is subjective and it's advisable to test before purchasing to ensure personal compatibility.